In this lesson, we're going to start right in with adding reference planes, then adding dimensions. Reference planes are the structure of your family. Without them, you can't really proceed. In a family, this is always the thing that comes first. Everything is based from your reference planes. This is the most important part of family creation. Once your reference planes are established, we can then add dimensions to those reference planes. However, if your reference planes are wrong, your family will fall apart. You can see, I really like reference planes. The objective of this exercise is to create reference planes in the correct manner, then to dimension them. Open the file you saved called Cove and follow along. If you didn't do that, go to New Family, then find the profile hosted.rvt template and save it as Cove. Just to give you an example of what we're going to model so you don't get confused once we start in with all our reference planes, is this basic shape. This will be flexible. We're going to make it one foot, and we're going to make a size that's six inches. Before we get started, let's take a look at reference planes. There's always going to be at least one reference plane in the template that's going to be the basis in which you model everything from. These reference planes are fixed, and they are basically your insert point. For example, this area right here is the insert point. I select this reference plane. It's locked down, and it's literally called wall face. This horizontal reference plane is center front back. These are the reference planes that we build off of. Any other reference plane that's created is a duplicate of this. Any dimension we add starts at this reference plane and resolves at the other reference plane that we added as a copy of this. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna do is create a reference plane. Go ahead and right click on your vertical reference plane and go to create similar. The objective here is to make a reference plane that's one foot to the right. So on your draw panel, click the pick lines button. Let's give it an offset of one foot. I'm going to hover over this reference plane. Notice we get a temporary reference plane that shows up. Once you see that, go to the right. Go ahead and pick the first reference plane. While we're at it, let's offset one down. That's one foot also. So I hover over this and I pick it. And I have a reference plane that's one foot. Hit escape a couple times. Congratulations, your first two reference planes. On the measure panel of the modified tab, I'm going to click the aligned dimension button. I'm going to pick a point from here. I'm going to pick a point to here. And I'm going to put my one foot dimension up there. I'm going to repeat the procedure down here. I'm going to put a dimension here. I'm going to put a dimension here. I'm going to place my dimension out here. Then I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Excellent. Next thing I'm going to do is create two more reference planes that are two inches down and one that's two inches in. Remember, I'm always starting from my reference planes that were there before I got here. Right click, create similar. On the draw panel, let's use our pick lines button. Let's give it an offset of two inches. Let's repeat that and offset this one to the right, two inches, then hit escape a couple times. Perfect. On the measure panel of the modified tab, I'm gonna click the aligned dimension button. I'm gonna click a point here and a point down here. Remember what I'm doing. I'm always going from my anchor reference plane first to my secondary reference plane second. The reason I'm doing that is because this is the reference plane that I wanna move. This is the reference plane that I wanna move. These two are the reference planes that will never move and can never move. I'm going to add another dimension from my primary reference plane to my secondary reference plane. I'm going to pick a point down here. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. I'm going to select this dimension. I'm going to get it out of the way. I'm going to select this dimension. I'm going to get it out of the way. Now I have my skeleton set up. Now that the framework and the dimensions are added, we have the start of a good, useful family. Start every family in this matter, and you are good to go.